attack in that area in as many weeks. Are the inhabitants of a tiny Islamic outpost in New York jihadists in training, or are they just peacefully practicing their religion? Correspondent Rick Leventhal paid a visit to the Muslims of America's headquarters to see what he could find out. Nestled on 70 quiet acres on a remote hillside in the western Catskills, a village called Islamburg is home to at least 100 Muslims, many of them converts. How you doing? Well, I'm doing what you doing. All right. I'm good. Can we talk to you for a second? Nope. We called ahead before making the 150-mile trip from New York City, but our interview requests were denied repeatedly. We're here to do a story about Islamburg, and we're looking to talk to residents. I hope you find some. Islamburg is the headquarters of Muslims of the Americas, a group with at least half a dozen similar compounds across the country. It was founded by Pakistani Sheikh Mubarak Jelani, who federal authorities say also created Jamaat al-Fukra, considered a terrorist group linked to domestic murders and bombings, including the 1993 attack on the World Trade Center. Jelani is the man former Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl was hoping to interview in Pakistan when he was kidnapped and later beheaded. About an hour after we arrived at the entrance to Islamburg, this man came out with a camera of his own. What's your name, sir? He taped silently for 15 minutes, then answered a few questions off camera, telling us he was born and raised in the U.S., converting to Islam in the Air Force, where he's an active reservist. He says Islamburg offers a better quality of life. Nothing sinister happens here. They live peacefully and get along with locals. We did find some suspicious folks in the local diner who wouldn't go on camera. This woman was happy to chat. Good neighbors? For me, yeah. I don't know about anybody else. I can't speak for anybody else. But for myself and my family, we've never had a problem. I think we need to be very much on guard about every member of these compounds. Author and Islam expert Robert Spencer offered no direct evidence of trouble, but plenty of concerns. They are there in order to train for larger scale operations in the United States. The FBI has visited the compound and says there are open lines of communication with the group. Local police say there's been rumor and innuendo about Islamburg, but no problems. And without an invitation to enter, life behind the no trespassing signs remains a mystery to outsiders. In Hancock, New York, Rick Leventhal, Fox News. Massachusetts Democratic Congressman Barney Frank has called Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia a homophobe. Frank was interviewed Friday.